The EFCC has requested Bola Tinubu's asset declaration document from the Code of Conduct Bureau, CCB, People's Gazette can report. In a politically charged inquiry that could see the former Lagos state governor and ruling party chieftain arrested and prosecuted before 2023, the Anti-Graft Office in November 2020 asked the Asset Fraud Investigation Office to supply details of Mr. Tinubu's access document as part of the ongoing probe of the politician according to a copy of the request obtained by the Gazette. The request dated November 6th was a follow-up to previous demands made with respect to Mr. Tinubu's asset filings. In the letter, the EFCC referred to its previous letter of September 4th, 2020 and the CCB's response of October 9th, 2020 asking the Bureau to supply outstanding requested information of Bola Ahmed Tinubu. It was not immediately clear whether or not the CCB has obliged the EFCC's request for additional information ever since or the nature and scope of information provided if applicable. The EFCC's November 6 memo also included another high-profile politician and Buhari's administration official and the Gazette lawyer advised that his identity should be protected until our reports and editors have established why he was being investigated. Respective spokesperson for the EFCC and CCB did not return requests seeking comment about Mr. Tinubu's investigation as led by Abdul Rashid Bawa when he was the head of Lagos Zona Office. Mr. Bawa was confirmed as the chairman of EFCC last week despite being a subject of a smoothed corruption probe. An official said he is now fully in charge of Mr. Tinubu's case. A spokesman for Mr. Tinubu did not return calls and messages seeking comment, but two associates strategizing for the former governor told the Gazette he had already learned of the probe and sent messages to President Muhammad Buhari for mercy. As Ewaju Tinubu contacted the president some weeks ago to protest that his hands are clean of any dubious practices, the source said under anonymity to avoid damaging his relationship with the Lagos state heavyweight. He told the president that if the EFCC must proceed with its probe, then it has to do so with compassion and fear of God. But what Asewaju really wants is for the investigation to stop because we all know it was investigated by Abu Bakr Malami to harass and prosecute the party leader and destabilize him before 2023, the source said. Another source close to Mr. Tinubu said he recently heard a politician complaining about the influence of the Attorney General on the Buhari's administration. We were Together, and I heard when he said Malami wanted to become the kingmaker in APC, the source said. He also said Malami does not have the intellectual strength to direct the affairs of a ruling party and will not be allowed to kill the party. A senior EFCC official familiar with Mr. Tinubu's investigation said the agency was aided in part by Nigerians' adoption of a financial system driven by modern surveillance infrastructure. Mr. Tinubu was already arraigned in 2011 for asset declaration fraud, but the matter was dismissed due to the failure of prosecutors to find enough evidence to substantiate their claim that he operated foreign bank accounts while he was a governor between 1999 and 2007. But the EFCC has now found additional information and believed it will successfully nail Mr. Tinubu using the same set of asset documents but with advanced layer of verification. Nigeria has adopted a bank verification number and strengthened its financial intelligence department since 2011. The EFCC has traveled a long distance from 2011 when Tinubu was first prosecuted, an anti-graph chief said. Now we are carrying out a tech-driven anti-corruption war. The official also said Mr. Tinubu's alleged asset fraud is only an aspect of multiple accounts to be instituted against him by the EFCC. We have petitions from a group in Abuja that we should investigate the source of those bullion vans that were driven into his house in 2019, the official said. We are also investigating the use of several proxies to collude with governors in Lagos and siphon money from the state. In November, the Gazette published bank accounts that showed how Mr. Tinubu 
Alpha Beta was moving the questionable funds it received from Lagos State into other companies linked to Mr. Tinubu, including Broadcaster TV and Lagos Metro Bus providers. But EFCC's ability to prove its case against Mr. Tinubu this time could still prove more challenging than officials boasted, especially as he was said to have stuck his deal and assets in complex layers of financial maneuvering. Officials could not immediately comment on what Mr. Buhari knew about Mr. Tinubu's probe, but he expressed confidence that the president would be reluctant to stand in the way of a criminal investigation. Mr. Tinubu has long been considered untouchable because of the role he played in bringing Mr. Buhari to power, but his influence has waned since 2015 when Buhari shot him out of his inner circles after being sworn in as president. An arrest and prosecution of Mr. Tinubu could blight his 2023 chances for president. The former Lagos governor opened a campaign office in Abuja last year. Although he has yet to publicly declare his presidential run, one of Mr. Tinubu's associates who spoke with the Gazette said his ambition clashed with some other interests within the ruling APC, especially those of Mr. Malami. We know that it is the turn of the South to produce the next president, Mr. Tinubu's associate said. We don't know why they are trying to humiliate him with their preliminary 2023 politics that they want to use to remove him from consideration for our party's ticket. Bola Tinubu, I don't think he will escape this one. And um, President Mohamed Buhari, they all know what they are doing, APC themselves. They know APC as a party. I don't see APC as a party even pushing Bola Tinubu um, as, as their flag bearer because we know um, the, the talks of um, even um, Jonathan's um, candidacy or flying APC's flag will not be anywhere around if um, Bola Tinubu is someone they really want to push forward. They know very well that um, Nigerians have lost confidence in APC and the only card they can play right now is the Jonathan's card. Well, anyway, guys, um, this Bola Tinubu, um, EFCC's case is still is still there. It's not gone. It's still around the corner. And we can see politics all playing up, how uh, manipulations are going on to cover all of um, these uh, the allegations against him. You know, a source stated that um, uh, Bola Tinubu ranked President Mohamed Buhari that um, he should show mercy. He doesn't want to be um, investigated. I really wonder why he's begging not to be investigated if his hands are truly clean. And this is the man, Bola Tinubu, who claims that he has the heart of um, the interest of Nigerians, this same person. Anyway, my people will see how all of this plays out, how this corruption case will end. EFCC, we know they are after him, but we can see what is going on now. The new EFCC chairman is Buhari's loyalist. He's just um, appointed Bawa as um, the new EFCC chairman, and he's someone who is also loyal to uh Bola Tinubu. we'll see how they manipulate all of this but one thing i know for sure is that nigerians will not vote Bola Tinubu come 2023 but guys let's hear your own take down below in the comment section thank you once again for staying tuned please don't forget to like share and to subscribe so i come your way again with more updates bye for now and god bless